point because, so, because yeah. they had the story already. Yeah. As far yeah. as they were concerned. Well, I don't. Well, I mean, it came out. The uh, sun came out on a Tuesday, didn't it? So, so right. I don't. I don't. I, but, well, they must have. They must have got it from the, obviously the county press reporter, right. same as same as you did through um through the county press. Well, we, no, we saw it on the Telegraph today. In fact, what we've got on the website is a, a, a grab of the uh, Telegraph web page. Well, I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering. As like I said before, I'm wondering the county press is you know use use my exclusive story, not giving me any money for it. Uh, you know, I can't wait to see what they've got to say tomorrow because they better get it right and, yeah. and, and and make money out of my story for other papers. Right. You know, right. It's, just, you know, it's a bit, a bit annoying, really. You know, I just wanted to make sure the facts were straight. I've got children to think about. You know, I didn't want to sound like some sort of legend or anything like that because, you know, my children are 11 and 13 years old. Right. They're, they're, they're going to read it. They're going to hear about this. Their friends are going to mention it to them. Yeah. And, what, what you know, the, I want to know it's a stupid thing to do and it was... You know, I was quite remorseful about it. What was the yeah. theory in, in, in not talking to other people? What did the county press say about the reason not to talk to other people about it? Well, they really said, they just, they just said to me, they said, um, can we just ask you, further? can you not, can you not mention this to any other press? Right. And um, for, for me not to mention it to them, yet they've gone and sold it, I think it's a bit of a piss take, really. So. Mm. But, um, oh well, so, so, you I mean, know, that damage is done now. I've, I've got family that I haven't seen for for many, many years. They're all going to be reading this now, and you know, I'm inundated on my on my um, internet. Oh, on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. It's just you know. You you mentioned before that you know it, it's it obviously. It's, I'm guessing this is something you want to put behind you now. It's it's sort of it happened. To, I mean, that's that's quite well, a yeah, bit I'm of thought, isn't it? Well, the first thing I want to um, do when I get my detox is get a job. Right. You know, and then, now if I'm going to be, like, publicised all over the place and mm. become some sort of legend for being, doing something stupid, mm. then, you know, what, how does that stamp spread me on a good job? I've got an MVQ2 in retail management. I've got sitting guilds communication skills. I've got IT plate 2. I'm, I've, I'm a qualified person. I've built sheds. I've built cabinets. You know, yeah. I've only got to mention my name now. And do that. Ah, hang on. I wonder, I wonder, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's difficult to tell what the future holds, but it, it's possible mm -hmm. that it's it's something that people, especially as, as you're saying, it was something that happened on medication, mm -hmm. and if it's something that you're, you're you know, detoxed and, and, you, and you're dry and you're not taking the medication, then those things have been removed, so possibly that those people won't consider that then. Yeah, well, it's, it's, I mean, as far as, as far as the doctors and everybody's concerned, I, I, I have an illness. Yeah. And um, you know, I know it's not a disability. I don't class it as a disability um, because I can walk and talk and lift and you know whatever. Yeah. Um, but you know, I do have an illness, and it's it's been plugged out. It's just, I'm so, I'm some some fanatic Kasabian fan. Right. And so I, I couldn't even say off my head now any one of their songs that they sing. <laughs> yeah, nor me actually, nor me. Yeah, yeah. But um, but um, and also and also I'm 35, not 25. Okay. <laughs> and then that's, that's what it said in the sun. I'm not sure about telegraph. Okay. They might have got it wrong as well. But. Okay. Well, uh, really, really appreciate you giving Vent a blog a call, and uh, you know we'll, we'll put the recording out that we just did, and and try and straighten a thing, a few things out about the story. Right. Let, let people know about your side of it as well. Yeah. No, that's great. Well, look, yeah, I uh, hope the, everyone, um, just tell everyone stay out of trouble. It's not worth it. Yeah. Well, look, I hope that how how were the by the way how were the police when um. I mean, you, you got, got caught by the security guard in some way, did you? Uh, yeah, it was literally. I was literally leaving, yeah. and the sharp-eyed the sharp one at the VIP tent. Yeah. Um, I was talking to a couple of other security guards, and and he kept looking at me, and I thought, hang on, that yeah. bloke's clocked me now. Yeah. And and I thought, uh, and I thought, right, I better stop talking. I better leave. And he um and he called me to one side and asked for my warrant, and that was it. it was all over. Wow. Well, so did you have anything to show him? Um, I did have a card that I found about four or five years ago for a detective sergeant job off the force intelligence unit, but it was only a calling card. Uh, right. You know, um, I'd had it for a while. I used to wind up if I saw kids riding up a joint on the bus. I used to go up to them and say, yeah. excuse me, and I used to wind them up. Yeah. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, it was a little bedraggled thing falling apart, right. and obviously that wasn't acceptable to, to them. Yeah. So he then kept hold of you and, and called the police? Um, but he called the rest of the security from the side. And there must have been about eight or nine of them um, took me off the site. They wow. had all of my arms. They were taking me off, and I said, hang on a minute. I said, do you really want to be seen escorting a police officer off the site? Do you want to take the jacket off? Yes. And he was like, 
Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take that off. Well, there's some straight thinking you had there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, but, uh, so, yeah, so then they took you, what, they took you down to Newport, to the police station? Um, yeah, yeah, um, they, they, they all kept on, um, bugging me to try and find out the name of this inspector, under, uh, plainclothes inspector that I was talking to, but, you know, I've got, you know, I've got my, my bad memory because of my alcoholism. What, um, was, the, but, what was the connection with the inspector? I don't remember that. I, I was chatting to an inspector for 15, 20 minutes. Oh, uh, well, on site? Okay, right, um, right, right. He come up, he come up, and they called me over and asked me how it was going on, and I, and I right. said, I said, um, I, I just said it was pretty quiet. I said I've been sitting down from having. I said oh. I volunteered. I didn't realise it was going to be so much rain. Blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, and um, you know, yeah. trying to get get away from him as soon as possible. But he, he, he I think he was bored. <laughs> he was yeah. telling you quite a quiet day, and you know, yeah. he was trying to chat, and I was like, just trying to get, I was trying to get away from him. Yeah, right. But um, but uh, yeah. I think so. So then they took you down to Newport Station, police station. Yeah, yeah, so then, and then and then the um, the doctors came in and um and and they put me on some more medication to uh, yeah. you know try and calm me down and things. I mean, it's, I was getting quite stressed by it. It seems that um, I mean, six, sixteen weeks suspended sounds quite light because I understood that impersonating a police officer, you know, well, you get the book thrown at you. That's why I thought. I mean, I did expect to be sent to prison. Um, yeah. But um, I was there then because I didn't actually try to take anything off of anybody. I didn't try to go anybody in anybody's house. Yeah. You know, I didn't do anything to... If I, if I tried to take property off people, take drugs off people or yeah. anything like that, I'm sure it would be totally different. Yeah. Um, but at no point did I say I was a police officer. I see. I, I didn't at any point say I was a police officer. Right, right. And apart from, apart from the inspector I was speaking to, yeah. Um, security, I just asked him how, to get, how the day was going, and, you know, yeah. things like blah, blah, blah. But I never at any point said I was a police officer. Right. But wearing a uniform immediately indicates you are a person a police officer. Yeah. But if it was on the very lower scale of it. I get you. Um, right. So, so it, was more, it was more about the, the um, taking the uniform in the first place. That was um, uh, right. appar apparently the, um, the the police lady who'd um, left the car at Shankland Police Station, apparently she got in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Um, I was initially was going to go to court and plead guilty to receiving a stolen uniform. Right. Um, I was going to say I bought it off to somebody, and then I found out this this girl was in trouble. Uh, that she may have left the car door open, and then I thought, well, you know, she's not. I'm not going to let somebody else. You know, it's probably right. a really decent person get in trouble for my stupidity. Right. So I so I end up to breaking into the vehicle and taking the uniform. Right. Right. Wow, what a tale, what a tale. But like I say, thank you very much for giving us Spent the Blog a call and, uh, and we'll put out the recording we just done and uh, I hope things go well for you in, in the drying out. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully. Yeah, see yeah well, ho hopefully the place will come up soon. Yeah. All right. Cheers, Bye. Cool. thank you very much. Cheers. See you, bye. bye.